<laughs> you fell down. I fell down the waterfall go splash. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. Well, that's why it's called a cutie fly. But it's so cute. I want a shiny one. What color is the shiny one? Pink. That's adorable. Yeah. I want to double check that. But I'm 98% sure that's pink. Makes sense. I'm gonna go play golf. Why you ask? Why not? Exactly. It's pink! Oh, no. It's pink! It is pink! It's so cute! Do you have the QR reader yet? No, maybe. No. Okay. So. Because if you really want it, it looks like that was the QR code for it. I'm gonna name it Buzz Buzz. You name it Buzz Buzz? Yeah. I named mine Beep. That's adorable. Thank you. You know, you can just. Nah, 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 nah. Alright, alright. Sassy. Should I keep someone else in my party? Uh, I would get rid of your Drifloon. <gasps> Hateful! Well, switch him out. Oh, hello! I'm playing golf! Get it, you? Yeah. So close. Darn it. Wait, I think I feel the breeze. A breeze coming. <laughs> hey. That was a hole in one. What are you talking about? Uh oh. I got it, got it. Yeah. Heck yeah. <gasps> Hello, friend. <laughs> Ah. So if I don't touch this one, does that make it a hole in zero? Yeah. Are you hungry, little guy? Oh no! Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we have lost Sweetie Senpai. Oh no! Yeah. He was hungry! Yeah. That's why he came out to battle. He was just hungry. <laughs> Dang it, I can't. Oh, hey guy. H how you do? That's okay, so you don't have to your Oh, there we go. Alright, let's try this again. That didn't work. That's better. Uh, yes! Woo! Well, I hope that was worth it. Hello, Kaleidoscope Man. Kaleidoscope. So beautiful! Incredibly beautiful! I'm so glad I bought this kaleidoscope! What? <laughs> There's nothing over there. He's just looking at a kaleidoscope. What a bro. That's adorable. What a bro. Oh, hi, bud. Wake up. Oh, hello! Hello, everyone! Goodbye! <laughs> Well, that worked. Just set everything on fire. Yeah. I found that that will generally solve most of your problems. Really? Yeah. 
what if your problem was being set on fire? You haven't used enough fire. <laughs> okay, then. Do slowpoke tails grow back? Yes. Okay. I was very concerned. But if done improperly, it is considered uh, abuse, so um, slowpoke tail harvesting is strictly regulated. Team Rocket, ha Team Rocket had an illegal operation going on. Hey, look, it's a growler. Hey, Pupper! Hey, Pupper! Hey, good and wholesome Pupper. You get that good and wholesome Pupper. Because I think that if I use water gun, then he's going to, uh... He could, but if you use lick, there's a chance of him being paralyzed. He doesn't have lick. Yeah, the other one has lick. Roadblock has lick. Um... Hey! Oops. <laughs> Too dangerous to go any further this direction. We must turn back. But there's nothing there! That's why it's so dangerous. We can get lost at sea. It's dangerous to go along and take this. Okay, I need... Here we are, the ghost ship chart. I need to go to Bum Island. To Bum Island! My Bum Island, I mean, let's go to the Forest Haven, and then go to Bum Island! Does Link do any damage? Yes, it does. So brave. That was a great rush. Hey, paralyzed. Good job. To the north. Alright, that should be enough. Probably. I think you're good. Sorry, guys. I'm just. I'm having a real good time over here. Good. You should. We gotta talk about something while we're going from island to island in this abyss. Well, it's not really an expanse. abyss, but... Expanse! Thank you, that's a better word. To the ghost ship! Alright, so I feel like I should definitely use Growlithe in my team. Because I don't have a fire yet. Hey, look, a bro! This is not a bro, this is a ghost. It's not even a ghost bro. You just jumped right into that. Yes, I did. Nasty plot? Oh, uh, yeah. Nasty plot will super increase his special defense. Uh, special attack. So actually for, uh, Pichu, that's pretty good. Tail whip? Um, either charm or tail whip. I'm a little scared of stepping onto that floor. Because that's creepy. Banzai! Oh, no! I like how it made him go from, Dang it. from charm to nasty plot. That is just the best. So it's you. Yeah. Except that I have charm and nasty plots. No, I want... There we go. I do not want summoning dude in, in my life. It is a bad thing to have. Oh, I don't have time for you. Dang it. Ah. This is not working. Ay. You get out of my life. And you get out of my life! Are we done here? Thank you. Alright, who should I take out of my party? Mm, your call, you'll be pretty covered regardless. I'm feeling... 
Roadblock. So how long does it take Munchlax to evolve into this? Uh, he evolves by friendship as well. Oh, no, no. None of that. Creepy noises. Okay, well, that was a... Ooh, hello thing. Hello, bud. Oh, no, poor guy. He was paralyzed. Oh, no. Oh, I am right on a... Man, I'm having incredible luck stopping right on top of these things. Awesome. Sweet. All right. Well, it is time. It is time? It is oh, time. Oh, no. Why? Because we don't have any other choice. What's your name, Ralph? Pupper. You named him Pupper. Because he's in Pupper. He's in Pupper. What are you going to do when you get Rock Ralph? Molly. Ollie. <laughs> Ollie's the name of our dog. Either that or whatever evolves into the Stoutland that looks exactly like Ollie. <laughs> he doesn't have, Ollie doesn't have that furry a face. I think he looks much more like Rockruff. No, Rockruff looks like a, a bigger dog's puppy. <laughs> what if I walked into? Um... Things that make me uncomfortable. That is what you have walked into. All right, Tingo, what do we got? Oh, Mr. Fairy! I've been longing to see you, sir. Uncomfortable. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? Mm -hmm. That fragrant, musty scent. Sir, you have found a chart. Splendid, splendid. Show me, show me. Why, you can't read that chart in its current state. Impossible, sir. Would you like me to decipher it for you for... 398 rupees. What a douche. Well, I have the money. Let's do it. Become readable! Seriously? That's all you had to do? Okay. Let's just get all these out of the way. Okay, there's another. Here's three. I don't remember if there are three or four. I don't know. Oh no. I went to switch out the Pokemon and it got all sad. <laughs> Let me love you. I'm, I'm going now. This place is too disturbing for me. Thank you. What's this? The way to Northern Fairy Island is to the north. Increase your fortune! I'm good. Haven't you already been there? I have. doesn't care. Is there anywhere that you don't like to be touched, bud? It's a grimer. What do you think? I think that maybe he has gone his whole life without people touching him, and so he is enjoying every single bit of this. Okay. Because instead of people treating him like he is gross, they are actually being affectionate to him for once in his life. He can still be gross. Tingle Island. Let me tell you something about that island over there, small fry. The guy who lives there is named Tingle, but he won't grow up and act his age. He still dresses like a little kid. That is not normal. No. Still, from what I hear, he can decipher maps like nobody's business. Just goes to show you can't judge your uh, present on appearances alone, fry. Of course, the thing about this Tingle guy is that when it comes to paying his deciphering fee, you're very ready to fork over some serious dough. Anyone who doesn't have a deep wallet won't be reading any maps, that's for sure. Makes sense. Alright. Let's scroll over to the incredible chart. There we 
are. And we need to go this way. There, I can speed this up right now. Ding. Jump! How many times do you think Link is thrown up from being spun around in these tornadoes? I don't know. It must have a very strong stomach to be that hero. Winds? Okay, is that is that the title for this one? It, it, it will be, basically. Okay, I am looking for over here. I would like to make a cutie flat blush. Oh really? Yep. I believe you. With the ridiculous floppy legs. <laughs> Shards. Right, so you just need some pets, and then you need food and pets, and then everybody is good. Wake up! Whee! Whee! And don't worry, I'll catch more than one full pixel so if you want. Oh, I thank you. I appreciate that. As though that wasn't another reason that I totally got this one. <laughs> that Vulpix is adorable. Uh, I do request a, uh, a sand true. Okay. I can do that. One more shard left! I'm gonna go get it before that bomb falls right on top of me. the east. The east is this way. Yay. There it is, the final shard. the ocean. Ta-da! The flash shard fused together all eight form the Triforce of Courage. Shiny triangles of power. Well done, Link. With the shards you have collected, the Triforce of Courage is now complete at last. We must make for Hyrule quickly. What if I don't want to wait, make for Hyrule quickly? Then, um, you're just going to leave Zelda by herself. There's one thing I want to do first. Ah. Oh. By herself. In here. She's safe. She's in an undisclosed hidden location. That's that's a thing that that was done and did. Yes, hello Beetle. Goodbye Beetle. Yeah. I mean, you'll you'll Excuse me if I want a little bit of a, a bit of insurance here. Yeah. I'm what you call a traveling merchant. Yes, I'm just a cheery fellow who bobs between waves in search of all manner of rare items. Cracked and pristine, wild and woolly. 
I came from distant lands because I heard there was a treasure of great worth on this island, but I can't find a thing. I thought perhaps my fate would cross with the most mystic of rare items, the fabled Shop Guru statue. But it seems as though I am off the mark yet again. By the by, for some reason, looking at that delivery bag of yours gives me the seeking suspicion you might have some rare treasure hidden in its depths. Do you have anything even slightly out of the ordinary in there? Would you mind trading it to me? Anything at all? This knapsack I'm looking around is stuffed with all sorts of wondrous things. Why don't you show me what you've got, and I'll show you what I'll trade for it. Hmm, okay. Here's a flower. A sea flower. An exotic flower. Okay. 25 rupees. Yay! The Merchant's Oath. Alright, now here's the fun part. Let's see if I can get something f for the flower he literally just gave me. Next, we'll head north. I keep meaning to reorganize my party, but then... Actually... Let's go to the one shop merchant we haven't seen yet. Back north. Have we met somewhere before? Aren't you? No, couldn't be. <laughs> Me? I'm just a poor, I'm but a poor traveling merchant. I travel the world searching for rare objects of all sorts, modern and ancient, foreign and exotic. My dream has been to someday open my own shop, but plans have a way of getting delayed, and now it's been 30 years since I started. <laughs> Type certainly laughs at us all, huh? And still, day in, day out, rain or shine, I spend my days looking for curiosities and rare items. Which reminds me, that delivery bag of yours looks like it might have some rare treasure in it. If you happen to have something of quality that one could put on sale in a shop, would you consider trading it? I have many fine products to trade. If you have something you'd like to trade, could you show it to me? Alright, so. An exotic flower. What do we got? The Sickle Moon Flag! Nice. Done. 40 rupees. Sickle Moon. Ha ha ha! I had a Sickle Moon flag, and I'm giving him right back to the same guy and... for a fountain idol. It's the way to be. I'm just running around. Cause there's a chick who wants to see this drift loon, and I forgot about it until there nice. was a chick who wanted to see a cutie fly. I'm going to assume one more, and it should be good. The Skull Tower Idol. Nice. Creepy, but done. Running around. Freaking creepy. Pretty weird. Go through that. Any chance you'll give me something different if I just give it right back to you? Because that, for some reason, makes sense. Nope. nope. Okay. At 
some point I'm gonna catch one of these guys. Hooray, Smeargle. I wish I could warp to the outside of Mother Child Islands. I think this is so much faster. Alright, so what's this guy gonna give us? I don't know. Hello? Thing! The big sail flag! Alright, I'm going to hope that, that is enough. Because I got a decent amount now. Time. Ah, the big catch flag! Hey! How long you know when you when you're done? I'm not sure. I mean, I know that the final one is the Shop Guru statue, which is literally a gold statue of the uh, Eskimo man. Huh. But I don't think I need to get all of them in order to get what I want from him. So... Oh, but it's almost night time. Which means he's going to be busy. Eh, I can, I can switch day and night. Yeah. How you doing, buddy? Yes, yes, young master. Look, already my ship has a wide variety of products to choose from. It's a cornucopia. Thanks to you, young master, every morning the postman comes with packages from the traveling salesman you traded with. At last, my humble stall has the appearance of a full-fledged store. My dear, your unflagging dedication has strengthened my determination to live my life for the success of my business. Master, you are the savior of my stall. I must thank you from the very bottom of my heart. This is my most prized possession. Next to my hoodie coat, of course, it is none other than the Zunari family treasure. Please accept it. The magic armor. Magic costing protective barriers. Okay. Oh no, you won't expend rupees unless you take damage. So it is a money based. <laughs> this is the only heirloom I brought with me when I moved here from my hometown. Well, excluding the lovely sail you purchased from me earlier, of course. It's a magical heirloom, one that calls up a mysterious power to protect your body from harm. Of course, you can use it even when you are sailing the open seas, my, my dear, please. Use this to protect yourself as you seek out more merchants, I beg of you. And please, be on the constant lookout for new and exciting products. Not that I have anything left to reward you with if you have find me. All right. I think... That's everything? Just to be safe. I'm gonna let this fairy go. And? I'm going to purchase some green potion. No, I don't have enough. And to, in order to get them, to get the blue potion, I'd have to go pretty much everywhere to collect enough chew jelly. Oh. And we could, we we could go through. But you could just go and get grandma soup. I have grandma soup. See, perfect. My point is, I could go and do all of the side quests and meet all the people that I haven't yet, get all the treasures, etc. But that's not why we're here. I have enough confidence in my abilities that with two fairies, grandma soup, and this potion. Alright. I got your buttons right um, on this gamepad. Yes! It is time! Alright. I'll even pick someone up on the way. What are you picking up? I have a desire for even more chaos than we normally bring to any situation. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Wait, why am I maniacal laughing? 